Hola, mi amor, quiero galletas. Lo más rico de León. Hola, buenos días from Nicaragua. So meet my friends here, Antonio. Hey friends, a pleasure. Antonio gives the best walking tours in Leon, Nicaragua. And Antonio, what do you have in stock for us today? Uh, I'm gonna take you in the municipal market and we're gonna get to try multiple things. All right, let's do it. I'm let's hungry. Do it. So just arriving here at the market. So we're going to see how many things we're able to buy with just 500 pesos, man. 500 pesos. How much dollar is that? Uh, maybe like $15. It's nice. Everything in the Mercado, most of the things are based on corn. And this is something that people call a churro. Churros? A, a churro is a translation in the Spanish of the joint. Oh, really? It looks like a joint. But churros usually are these sweet things with Nutella, right? Yeah, correct. And they're bigger. Uh -huh. This is the Nika version of the churros. All right, let's try it. it. The churros. <laughs> is it good? It's good. Yeah. It's sweet, like you said. I think it's nice, like with a beer or something, with a drink, you know, <laughs> just like a little snack. Muchas gracias. Y buenos días. Buenos días. Con gusto, igual. So walking into the big market now, right? Yeah. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Todo bien? Bien, bien. ¿Tiene el uh, cheesecake? Sí. Muy rica. Vamos a probarlo, uh, Antonio. Try the milk soup. It's mm -hmm. a crazy name. It's made of rice, cinnamon butter, and milk. It's very, very cheesy. So All for right. many people, it's one of the best things they can find in this mercado, and Rob's gonna go for it. Solamente uno. Solamente uno? I had a big breakfast today. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing you need to know about my friend Antonio here. Yeah. So Antonio, you're on a special diet, right? Um, yeah, basically I don't like to, uh, to eat uh, too much carbohydrate and stuff. Sometimes I have it, but I try to avoid it most of the time. You know, but for Rob, you know, there's a tourist here. <laughs> I want her to try everything. <laughs> so basically it means that I'm eating for two people here. But this is gonna be good. And this is like Nicaraguan cheesecake, it's right? Nicaraguan cheesecake, yes. Alright, here we go. And you see these powders here? This is something that people uh, use to make drinks. You know, this is uh, like 50% uh, cacao and the rest is uh, maize. Corn. Okay, again, maize, of course. Maize and cinnamon as well, something that people drink with water. Mm -hmm. it's one of the uh, most famous drinks that we got in the country. It's called El Pinolillo. I must be honest, it's amazing how people in Latin America just use mice and corn to make like the most interesting drinks and food as well. Yeah, true. And this cheesecake, it's deliciosa. It's muy rica. Gracias. Alright, you heard that people. Best cheesecake you buy here at the local market in Leon, Nicaragua. You ready for the next uh, stop? Absolutely, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't forget to pay, of course. <laughs> we want to support the locals as well. Have you seen an avocado as big like this body before? Nope. I think I could do weightlifting with these things. I think they're one kilo maybe. In the high season avocados can grow as big as this papaya. That's insane. Are we going to taste something here as well? Yeah, Some fruits? I'd like to try this fruit also. I'm going to go Ooh. for it. Nice perros, right? Nice perros. I had them in El Salvador. My uh, boy Chivo Gringo, <laughs> he um, introduced me to these fruits actually. I really love them. Look at this, man. Appreciate it. Let's have a piece. Nice perro. Are you eating these, Antonio? Yeah, finally. <laughs> a little so, thing, you know? It's fruit. You know when it's good when Antonio starts to jo join in here. <laughs> yeah. Mm. They're good. They're really good. It's like honey. Now, people, this is one of the reasons you want to come to Nicaragua. Just Nispero fruit you never taste it, but it's delicious. Tú estás trabajando aquí todavía siete años. O sea, siete años después de la clase, mira, que puede venir a pausar o día una hora así. Después terminé una carrera universitaria, pero decidí quedarme en el comercio. Estudié química, concluí, pero no, no desde mi monografía. ¿Y por qué elegiste uh, ese mercado porque, sobre...? Porque yo, este, cuando estaba con los reactivos, ya sentí que me asfixiaban la garganta, me comprimía, entonces decidí no. Era alérgica a los reactivos, entonces me socaba la garganta, entonces yo no. ¿Te gusta trabajar en el mercado aquí? Sí. Sí. Ya me acostumbré. 
puedes comer uh, fruta fresca cada día, oh, ¿no? <laughs> This is all handmade, right? Everything, buddy, everything. You know, if you want to save some money, how do you call these? Uh, we call it chanchos. Chanchos? Like pig. Pigs. You no, know, in English, piggy banks, and also you see this. Uh huh. The maracas. If we want to get a little party started, <laughs> get the maracas. You see the glasses, buddy. Wow. This is really cool. What do you drink from this? Uh, the typical uh, cacao and just drinks that are based on corn. Hola. Un buen desayuno está preparado para usted. ¿Y qué, qué vas a comer? Uh, pollo. ¿Pollo? Vale. Mucho uh, provecho, entonces. Gracias. Queremos una enchiladita. This is with spicy sauce and we love the spicy sauce. But it seems like very spicy, but in fact it's not. It's not too spicy. It's not too spicy. I must be honest, you know, I know in Latin America they have different definitions of spiciness than in the Netherlands. You're gonna try first this time, right? Alright. <laughs> we'll go for it. Just be sure how spicy it is. No. I'm sure he wouldn't even budge even though it was spicy. Alright, here we go. Good. What is this? Chips? It's called enchiladita. En enchiladita. It's made of corn and paprika. I really like it because it tastes a bit like paprika chips. Well, way more natural, you know? Like it's naturally prepared from mice, paprika. Only that? Just mice and paprika, just like yeah. eating vegetables. Yeah, the tourists call them the Nicadoritos. Gracias. Y buenos dias. We're gonna try the traditional meal of Lyon, which is something called made of cassava, plantain, and a lot of beef. It's called El Bao. El and Bao. It's the only place where you can find it. Let's go. All right. But you're gonna try this one, right? Because I don't eat beef. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Octavio. Octavio, place, con gusto. You will find the bao that I was talking about before. Look at this. This is el bao, as I was telling you, uh, the cassava, plantain, and lots of beef. All right. It's a traditional meal of Lyon. Una pregunta, ¿qué más tenemos aquí? Estos son plátanos, ¿no? Plátanos, queso frito, queso frito, panelitas, panelitas. Este es taco y enchiladas. Tacos and enchiladas. Tortas de carne. Torta de carne. ¿Y qué es tu, tu favorito de comer? El bao. What do you think? Just keep this and eat that. Because I'm really cool, man. You I are. Like eight eggs today in the morning. How many? Eight eggs. Eight eggs? Eight eggs. Shut up. Uh, yeah. Eight That's eggs. a lot. That's a lot. Did you bake them or cook them? Uh, no, it was scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Eight. Eight eggs. It's I, just. I usually, have, I usually have eight eggs every single day in the morning. Wow. And I can't have all day without food. All right. Looks like we have to cut Antonio some slack. Because you already hate eight, eight eggs. <laughs> I mean, I usually eat two every day, but eight, that's, that's crazy. That's next level. He's like Superman over here. So I'm gonna try some uh, platanos and some queso because, you know, I don't wanna let you guys down on trying some food from this market here. Mari, go ahead. Thank you. All right, gonna try some proper queso here. That's something that you gotta eat. También quiero comer? Gracias. Puedo. Puedo. Sí. Buenos días. I love cheese. And this is good cheese. I'm from the Netherlands, so that means something. ¿Cuántos años estaba trabajando aquí? Mi mamá tiene 40 años de trabajar acá. Me involucré en el negocio hace como eh, unos 7 años que egresé de la universidad. Entonces me involucré en el negocio. De Pero es un negocio de familia. Familiar. Entonces esa um, receta es perfeccionada de tu familia. <laughs> vale. Now this is what's nice about these places, just people gather around, have some good food, talk to each other, and start the day. This is basically what everybody eats in here for lunch, which is rice everywhere. We got lots of beans and also fried stuff. Basically, you accompany all the food with the plantain, cheese, and beans. What are you gonna have for lunch later? Uh, you still I, have I'm some not, space? I had After the 8x? After the 8x, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> now, in case you need anything else than food, you know, yeah. this market has everything. So here you have like a stand with a lot of Tupperware. If you need some uh, space or some containers for the food, you know, you cannot finish. Wow, these are uh, piñatas, right? Yeah. That's really cool. Is that like a local tradition here to uh, smash? Smash pi piñatas and yeah. get the candy out? Till you turn like seven years old, you can have a celebration with piñatas. And what would you uh, stuff your piñata with? <laughs> like a little eggs? How so? <laughs> How so? You have children, right? Yeah. 
for your daughter? I have a daughter, of course. Like, what would you put into it? Uh, she loves princess. You know, she loves the princess stuff. Princess? Yeah, maybe uh, any princess or okay. princess Sophia. I don't know. Princess Sophia <laughs> with what kind of candy? Um, any candy. In fact, I wouldn't like her to eat candies, honestly. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. For me, it's the same actually. I would Just prefer my have kids fun. to have like some fruit or vegetables. Yeah. I mean, you could do that, right? Yeah, it's a good idea, you know, to have piñatas and the kids, you know, to hit them, but perhaps not to eat so much sugar. I think the only thing is when you full, full uh, piñata with vegetables, you, you, you smash them <laughs> to pieces, you know? <laughs> Talking about smashed fruit, let's get some jugos. Got your water. My water, I'm happy with my water. Get down the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be that all day. <laughs> that all day. That's yours. All right, great. Muchas right. gracias. That looks amazing. So tell me again, what do we have here? This is uh, bananas, papayas, and orange. All right, I'm gonna let you know now how the taste is. Fresh cocktail from the market, I bet you. If you have one of these starting your day, you're gonna have an awesome day. So just finished the Hugo. But my friend Antonio wouldn't be Antonio if he didn't have more for me. Antonio, what's up next? Um, we're gonna find some other stories. Now, the thing I've been noticing here is that every stand there are women working here. And I've been to many markets around Central America, Mexico, but this is really striking of this market in Lyon. ¿Cómo es trabajar aquí con tantas mujeres? Es bueno demasiado, sí, sí, algunas bueno, veces. Bueno, todas nos relacionamos bien. Pero no es que tienes una regla, un meta, un objetivo que dice que no, no nosotros aceptamos como hombres trabajan no, aquí. No, tal vez los hombres no, no les gusta, no sé. No les Son gusta. bienvenidos, pero no quieren. Sí, no quieren. Vale, no vale. No quieren, tienen otro trabajo, qué sé yo, les gusta otra cosa. Entiendo. Y tú tienes aquí como galletas, ¿no? Galletas sí. famosas de Nicaragua. Sí, las zonas famosas de Nicaragua que le llaman las rojas. Maíz, maíz otra vez, por supuesto. Ahí pinol, pinolillo, todo el derivado del maíz. ¿Puedo probar esta galleta? Sí. Muchas gracias. All right, tasting panel, still going strong. <laughs> Must be honest, I'm a little bit full after the juice, but it's just a small cookie, you know, won't hurt. And we said that we were going to spend 500 pesos, and we we haven't even paid like 300 pesos. We're like, <laughs> oh my god, it's a nice cookie. I really like that the bases are mice. Yeah, it's just like, you know, healthy little snacks. She has a question for you. ¿Te gustaría vender a vos en un mercado? A mí me gustaría sí, vender me gustaría, algo. Sí, vender en un mercado. Sí, por supuesto. ¿Te vas a casar con este chele o para que te llegue a su país? Yo sé qué significa eso. O sea, que no sabe qué significa eso, ¿viste? Piel blanca, chele, piel blanca. The best thing about working on this market is I can eat all the cookies. <laughs> Estoy trabajando Venga, bueno. Está trabajando bien. Creo que tú no, no, no vas a tener un negocio al final del día porque yo voy a comer todo. Sí, no importa que me pagaré. <risa> tú necesitas uh, enseñarme un poquito. ¿Cómo, cómo va tu trabajo? ¿Necesito uh, gritar o...? Sí. ¿Cómo, cómo normalmente usted ha, hago Nosotros eso? Nosotros por lo menos aquí cuando pasa el cliente le decimos que... Uh -huh. ¿Qué vas a llevar, amor? Almíbares, cajetas, pinol, pinolillo. Esta Hola, mi amor, ¿quieres galletas? Lo más rico de León. Sí, muchas gracias. ¿Y qué, qué quiere usted? ¿Estos? Vale, aquí tienes. Gracias. Disfruta. Buenos días. Chao. Vale. So it looks like we made uh, our first 20 pesos here. I might just stick around, you know, go volunteering on this market. Vale. Okay. Muchas gracias. Bueno, eh, gracias por estas galletas y por el poco tiempo que podría trabajar con usted. Deseo un buen día. Cuando querrá volver. ¿Ah? Cuando querrá volver. Ah, mañana, ¿no? Mañana a las 7. Mañana a las 9, más o menos. 9. A las 9. Vale, nos vemos mañana. Okay. Gracias. Aquí tienes. Bendiciones a usted, señor. Okay. So, we just bought this and Antonio actually had a very good idea because my budget of 500 we still have like 250 now. Yes. 250 uh, pesos, Cordobas. And I, I'm full, so I cannot eat anything more. Yeah. So Antonio had the great idea to, you know, buy some more food from this market and go to meet some people on the streets who 
could use like a nice a nice meal, you know? Yeah, of course. This is one of the most traditional things in the Mercado and in the whole country. This is the uh, boiled cassava, so that's the pork. It's also condimented with uh, paprika. So we have pork, and what's this? El cassava, boiled cassava. Looks good. So we're gonna have three tacos, we can fit three people. Rob, if you have 20 pesos more, we can buy another taco. All right, let's do it. So how many meals do we have here, Antonio? So we got four tacos, and we got one big chancho con yuca. It's All gonna right. be great, man. Great, let's, let's make some people happy. Hola, buenos días, todo bien? Sí. Tenemos algo de comer porque yo fui al mercado, pero yo no, yo estoy lleno, mi estómago no tiene espacio, entonces, si tiene hambre, tenemos algunas uh, comidas para usted. Vale. No problem, no problem, amigos. Disfruta, señores, y que te vaya bien, que Dios te bendiga. Chao. Perdón, señor. But can you help me, please? Can you help me? Tienes hambre? Ah, yes, yes. Sí. Vale, toma uno. Burrito. Sí. Un taco. Un taco. Sí. Gracias. Provecho, de nada. Gracias. Que te vaya bien. Buen día. Gracias. Hola, señores. Yo tengo un poco un problema porque yo compré tantos tacos, pero mi estómago todavía es lleno. Entonces, ustedes tienen hambre? Quieren tacos? Sí. Vale. Entonces. Disfruta, que te vaya bien, provecho. All right, people, this was the tour around the local market in Leon, Nicaragua. Now, I had a great time, I had great food. If you want to experience this as well, you know, visit Leon, Nicaragua, I definitely recommend you doing so because you're going to taste some, some food you never tasted before. It's rico, it's deliciosa. Thank you, my man Antonio, it's, it's for this Akachimba. great personal tour. I had a lot of fun. Friend. Me too. Do you want to add something? No, just so I want everybody here coming to Nicaragua and try everything in our gastronomy because it's extraordinary. So thank you, my friend. Thank you. And try Antonio's tour because it is legit like the best tour in Nicaragua. All right, people, it was a pleasure once again. See you in the next video. Peace.